guys! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome! So today I decided to paint another, another landscape painting and we'll be doing an autumn, uh, an autumn scene, an autumn landscape. So this is one of my favorite paintings or one of my favorite seasons because it has a lot of colors. And speaking of colors, we'll be using a lot of colors today. And here are the colors that we'll be using for today's painting tutorial. So we have burnt sienna, black, um, yellow ochre, red, orange, mid-yellow, and sap green. Those are a lot of colors. So I'll be sketching first the subject so that we can proceed to doing a lot of layers today. So for the sketch, I'm just gonna use an ordinary brush. You can use any brush you want because it's just the sketching part, meaning this will be painted over. If not, all of the sketch lines will be gone later at the end of the painting session. So I'm just gonna get a brush to sketch the subject and I'll be using black to show you how things are gonna go. So I'll be getting my black and we'll be doing a pathway as well. So for the pathway, like that. This is not, this will be an off-center um, vanishing point. So the vanishing point will be off-center here, okay? And then there will be trees here, mm, like that, like that. There will be lots of big trees on the right side. This is just showing you how things are going to go. This is not the exact um, thing that will be, uh, that is my goal for today's painting. I'm just also identifying where things are going to go so that I will be guided where to place things. So there will be another tree here. Like that. Okay. All right, like that. And the rest will be bushes and leaves. And the pathway will be covered with um, fallen leaves. All right, so since we're at it, I have my black paint here. Why don't we just continue? And I'm gonna underpaint first those trees that I have here. So this is just the underpainting. We'll be doing some highlights later. And some of, of this Branches will be covered with um, foliage later. All right here. There will be some branches sticking out. This absolutely looks so abstract at the moment. And that is how I do my sketch, quite raw. Right. I kind of like it, in fact. Okay. All right. 
we'll have more full we have, we'll have more tree branches here and we'll have more foliage on the left side okay all right and since i still have my black paint here i'm gonna mix my black with some sap green so that it's not purely black and i'm gonna use that to underpaint this area and also here again we're just underpainting try to enjoy this moment uh, when you don't have to worry too much about detailing I think this is the one of the most fun stages of painting the ugly stage because you don't have to worry too much about anything Okay, now I'm gonna wash my brush out. I'm gonna get my burnt sienna, mix it with black so that it's dark brown. And I'm gonna start underpainting as well some leaves here. This will be the underpainting of the brown leaves of the fall season. So it's dark brown. You know, back in the days, I really didn't uh, use underpainting as one of my painting stages. I just proceed right away. That's why I think my painting in the past um, were quite uh, looking so unfinished. So we're trying to um, background the leaf, co the leaf colors. Again, this is the underpainting. We'll do some highlights later. For now, let's just do some light, I mean, some dark browns here and there. Don't worry too much. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to spread the paint. And it's okay if you commit mistakes at this stage. All right, it's really fun because I'm also wondering how this will come out after. Okay, like that. Okay, same brownie colors here. that now using my yellow ochre I'm just gonna mix it with the brown color that I have here maybe I'm good yeah so this will be the underpainting of those light lighter areas
All right, look how abstractish this is. I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna underpaint first the pathway. I'm gonna use a bigger brush so that I get more coverage in a few strokes. So for that, I'll be getting my brown and black mixture. Just mix them together. Maybe I'm gonna add a little bit of red. I'm gonna add a little bit of red to that brown and black mixture. And I'm just gonna go and underpaint first the pathway. You actually don't know, guys, how excited I am to finish this one because I love autumn. Uh, I love painting autumn scenes. I'll be linking in the description box below some of my fall or autumn uh, landscape painting tutorials so that you'll have a lot of options. So this is like reddish brown. I'm just adding a little bit of black. Okay. Also here, I'm gonna go up, under paint. Pour some red bushes. Okay, as we go up, Okay, perspective wise, as we go up, I'm gonna get my yellow ochre. I'm not washing my brush. And I'm just gonna, again, apply that color right here. I'm gonna get my sap green. I'm gonna add hints of green here and there. So that doesn't look weird. Okay, look at that. It's so abstractish, but you already have an idea of where things are gonna go. In fact, if you're an abstract type of person, you can end the painting and call it a painting already <laughs> at this stage. But you know that I'm not like that. I am more into realism. So I'm gonna go for more detailing and let's proceed now to detailing and do some more foliage. I think I'm gonna do first the foliage on the trees before I do the dead leaves on the soil. So for that, I'll be using small brush, okay? Just look at my brush. <laughs> and this is a small brush. I'm gonna use the tip of my brush to create some leaf-like brush strokes. So I'm gonna get my sap green. I'm gonna mix that with black, but it will not be super dark green. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. Again, black, or you can use brown just to tone the colors down. And I'm gonna start creating some details. You probably can't see it, but um, just do some tapping to create that brush, uh, I mean leaf-like brush strokes here and there. Start creating brush strokes. I might spend more time today for this tutorial simply because we're doing a lot of detailing. So now I'm starting to create layers. And in order for you not to get bored with this step, you should do this fast. I'm suggesting that you do it fast, not super slow, because uh, I think your speed will affect your mood. That when I'm more fast, when I do things quickly, I'm, I am more motivated to finish the painting than when I am slow, because I feel like I'm stressing so much about small detailing that I can actually accomplish by being quick. 
well it's really up to you I'm not suggesting that you be like me but I'm just suggesting that if it works for you then you may do so all right now I'm gonna switch to another color which is orange so I'm gonna dab onto my orange but since orange is quite transparent I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow you can add even brown but don't make it too brown because we already have brown colors here we want our yellow to kind of stand out so I'm gonna get my orange and make some more detailing just use the tip of your brush in creating uh, brush strokes like this just the tip of the brush because we're doing a landscape so everything will be really suggestive of what a thing is more than focusing too much on the details of a leaf we're just looking for the shapes of the leaves Right, and I'm gonna use the same color over here just to maximize our time since we already have that color I might as well use that color in painting other areas We will be switching or we will keep switching from one color to another and I might go back to another color even if we've already uh, mixed the colors All right. again using the same color Okay, now I'm gonna get my yellow. As you can see, I did not wash my brush. I'm just gonna dab onto my yellow and I'm allowing that orangey color to mix with the yellow so that it tones the color down. We don't want super yellow at the moment. We'll use that super yellow or bright yellow at the end to highlight some of our leaves. Not all the leaves though, just some of them. I'm gonna use dots and swift brush strokes. Okay, I'm gonna color the middle, no, not the middle, but the vanishing point area with the same uh, muted yellow color. So you can see here, I'm trying to make this part quite yellowish. And we will definitely use our palette knife later, especially for the soil part. For now, let's just focus more on adding so many layers on this area of the forest. Okay, now, okay, I'm gonna mix my green and yellow to create that yellow-green color. And I'm just gonna go near the vanishing point to create some lighter ye uh, yellow green.
All right, I'm gonna wash my brush out. All right, now I'm gonna get my brown, just pure brown. All right, and I'm gonna add a little bit of black just to make it dark brown. I'm gonna go back to certain areas right here. I'm gonna make it quite darker by just adding black. We're going to do negative spaces. Maybe I'm going to add a branch. Right now, okay, before we go back to doing more foliage, since we're at it already, I'm just gonna highlight some of the branches. I'm gonna get my brown, mix it with yellow ochre and maybe red. I'm gonna highlight the left side of the branches. These are not branches. These are the tree trunks. I'm gonna get yellow ochre. Just to highlight it even further. Okay, now using my yellow ochre, I'm just going to dab on to the foliage again. Again, this time we're using a yellow ochre to give it another shade of yellow. It's not just pure yellow, it's not yellow green, it's yellow ochre. So I really don't mind spending uh, more time today, again, simply because I want to layer. Okay, I'm gonna mix my brown and yellow ochre, or just get your brown.
here. Okay, I'm just gonna fix this area. Let me check. All right. Okay, so you can see here, we're forming a lot of layers and we're gonna form more layers later. For now, let's go to the pathway before we go back to the leaves because I'm getting addicted already in layering the leaves. So let's go to the pathway area so that we kind of see that it's really um, coming out so nicely. We just don't focus on one area. If we're getting tired of one area, let's shift to another one so that it doesn't get that boring. So for the detailing on the pathway, in the same manner that we did the foliage on the trees, uh, we'll be doing the same thing on the pathway. So just use the tip of the brush. I'm not even changing my brush. So, and we're gonna use the same color almost. So get sure, we're gonna start with um, maybe yellow. Yellow ochre, sorry. Yellow ochre and just try to reproduce those leaves only in a much more horizontal uh, manner. If we're doing it like everywhere on the foliage of the trees, we're just gonna do it quite horizontal for the pathway. Okay. All right, and then switch to orange. A little bit of orange here and there. Make it look more natural, meaning quite random. You don't want any particular pattern forming on the soil. Just be random when it comes to placing the colors of the leaves. They should be everywhere. Now I'm gonna get my red. Okay, just get your red and apply again. Quite randomly. Don't do, don't use too much red because we really don't have too much red going on on the trees. This is just a, just a suggestion that some of the leaves probably have turned red. Could happen. I'm gonna get my burnt sienna. Again, we'll be doing some palette knives or we'll be using our palette knives later, especially for the soil part. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. I'm gonna darken this side because this side is not really receiving enough light. So we're gonna darken it quite a bit. And by darkening the corners of the painting, um, it frames the painting as well meaning it makes the audience focus more on the center of the painting. I'm gonna get my black and darken this as well. Okay, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get my pure yellow, get your mid yellow. Oops, that's too much. Okay. 
I'm gonna highlight some of the leaves near the vanishing point the light is coming from the center it's not really the center again where we did it quite off center so I'm gonna make some yellow leaves quite randomly now I want you to get your green because as, as I told you guys um, leaves should not be just autumn leaves should not be just red and orange and yellow there are also some evergreens Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. Oh, starting to come together. I kinda like it. Now I'm gonna use my yellow. Water down, and I'm just gonna go and make some light right here. And on the center, Okay, this will be where the light is coming. And then using my pure white, oh, my pure yellow, I'm going to add more highlighted foliage near the vanishing point. here as well okay I'm gonna get my white mixed with the yellow color and I'm gonna make some highlights here So you can see the black did mix with my yellow but since we're just using paint you can simply paint over that no worries okay I'm gonna wash and brush out I'm going to get again my pure white, try to highlight this section. Right, looking good. Okay, I'm gonna mix my white and my yellow. So just mix your white and yellow to create, okay. Other colors are mixing, but it's, it's all right. As long as white is the most dominant color.
Okay, again, also on the fallen leaves here. Make sure to highlight the leaves quite randomly, meaning you don't highlight everything. You just highlight a few, select leaves. Okay, I'm gonna get my orange. Again, just highlight a few select leaves. Don't highlight too much down here because again, this is not this area is not really receiving good light so it should not be too highlighted that would be inconsistent with the law of nature okay again i'm just gonna get my orange but this time i'll be mixing it with my brown and again just try to create more leaves it's like the more we layer the more we achieve fullness of the foliage There will be some fallen leaves here on the bushes. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. I just want to create some negative spaces right here all right let me check on camera this looks absolutely nice absolutely nice but then again i have to add more detailing you know me guys i'm gonna get my yellow ochre just more i think you just have to have fun doing this one it's not really exhausting because it's quite repetitive so if you're a fan of detailing i think uh, landscapes are good for you for now if you're practicing detailing okay i want my leaves to like really look um full so I'm going to layer more. Yeah. 
I'm gonna glaze this a bit because I want some light play going on. Okay, also the trees. Yeah, let's do some light play by highlighting the right the left side of the tree branches. I'm gonna get my black and make the trees look more natural. I'm gonna make this branch a little more brown. So I'm just adding brown Foliage as well. Okay, I'm gonna get my white and brown. I'm gonna make some highlights as if they are highlighted grasses. wash it brush out okay I'm gonna get again my yellow and green to create that yellow green color then let's go back I absolutely love this one. Remember how we started? It really looked so weird, but now look at our painting. It looks more detailed. Now, as I told you during the beginning of this video, I'm gonna use my palette knife to create more detailing on the soil part. So we'll get your palette knives, and I'm just gonna use the back of the palette knife, dab onto my, oh, sorry, I dab onto my green. I should not have dab onto my green. I should have dabbed onto my orange and brown. And I'm just gonna use this to create 
patterns that are not usually achievable when you just use your uh, paintbrush. So it's like this. Now I'm gonna switch to brown and black to create darker tones. Again, just use the back of the palette knife. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of red. Okay, not too much, but just to know that it's there. I'm going to get my yellow ochre. And again, just use it. Use your palette knife to apply it to make the pathway look more rustic and more raw, unplanned, spontaneous. Yeah. You can name everything, every adjective that you have in mind. As long as it looks natural. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to wipe the colors off my palette knife. I'm going to dab onto my white and yellow. Just mix them together. Maybe more white. I want it more light than yellow. So I'm going to use this to apply the same or apply in the same manner some highlights on the most distant part of the pathway. Okay. All right, look at the pathway. It looks more natural. It looks more unplanned. So now I'm going to go back to the foliage on the trees. Okay, so I'm going to use again the brush that I've been using since the beginning of this video. Just going to dab onto my yellow and more highlights. I'm going to use my fingers in dabbing the colors onto the canvas so that it spreads quite naturally Okay, I'm gonna get again my orange.
Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow ochre right here. Wash your brush out. Okay, I'm gonna get my white again just to light lighten this portion. And I'm gonna spread it slightly so that it touches, I mean the paint touches some of the outer leaves that you can see here. So it suggests more light. So, slightly glaze this pat part of the pathway, slightly glaze. Be careful not to sm smudge the paint. Right. So, getting my yellow. Look at that. Oh my God, so pretty. Hmm. Whoops, I got a lot of orange. That was just by accident. So I'm mixing my orange and yellow ochre to add more again you can obsess as um, as far as you can go <laughs> over this painting since this is a landscape with a lot of foliage of course just don't super overdo the high uh, the layering that you already cover the whole thing but definitely you can layer as much as you want Absolutely love this painting. Okay, I'm switching to red again. All right. Using my sap green. Okay, I'm 
some black. I absolutely love this. Okay, I think I need more black just to make our trees um, look more dark on the right side. Okay, and then just yellow ochre on the left side. gonna get my white try to highlight some leaves not all just some more light as you can see I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. All right. I think I'm going to sign this now. This is pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to apply more white. A little bit of yellow. Wow, this is good. I think we're done, guys. What do you think? I think this is absolutely nice. I think this is absolutely nice already okay and we can all right i'm just gonna add a little more detailing here it looks so raw So I'm just adding some more negative spaces.
Right. Right. This is so good. Oh my gosh. I think I have to sign this now because this is just too good. So I'm going to sign right here and I'll be using a really small brush for the signature. Just because I don't want my signature to ruin the painting, I'm going to use this pointy brush. I'm going to use my yellow ochre. I do have a lot of yellow ochre going on right here. And we're done we're done guys yes I really thought I'll be spending more than an hour for this but we just finished it in an hour so I really hope you like this one and I'll be linking in the description box below the link to all my autumn painting tutorials including this one so see you in my next video have a nice day guys bye mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.